When Sharon Belvin was diagnosed in 2004 with stage 4 melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, she was given 6 to 12 months to live. She was only 22 years old. It was two weeks before my wedding, so I was, we were in the thralls of the flowers and the dress and the DJ. She began chemo to no avail. With hope and time running out, Dr. Jed Wolchok of Sloan Kettering turned to a drug still in clinical trials. Unlike chemo that targets the tumor and everything else, ipilimumab or IPI triggers the body's own immune system to fight back and hard. Sharon's results were nothing short of miraculous. She had essentially a complete remission. Uh, after four doses uh, of treatment. Not everyone in the clinical trial had this kind of result, but on average, IPI did increase terminal patients' lifespan from six to 10 months, 67%. It's the first drug ever to show a survival benefit for this kind of cancer. Researchers point out this advance comes at a time when the number of melanoma cases are rising. 10 years ago, 47,000 Americans were diagnosed. Last year, that number jumped to nearly 69,000, with 8,600 deaths. This is uh, kind of a, land, a landmark in, in the treatment for melanoma that will hopefully also uh, go on to other, other diseases. I mean, it's, it will, it's a first proof of principle in a new way to treat cancer. The drug's developers will present their findings at the annual American Society of Clinical Oncology Convention here in Chicago. This get-together is often referred to as the Super Bowl for the biotech industry. For drug makers, it's a crucial opportunity to find investors. For oncologists, it's a one-stop shop to learn about landmark drugs like IPI that, if approved, might one day save their patients. I think we can actually slow down on doing these scans. I can't even believe you're saying that. These days, Sharon Belvin has everything I I mean, she I thought she never knowing. would. A husband, a family, a life. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.